Good morning guys, well, welcome to today. I have so much energy today. I woke up I'm super happy, super excited to uh, get this day started, which is weird because it's been dark and, and uh, gloomy for the last couple of days. Like crazy, gloomy, and dark. Our windows are so dirty, I need to clean them so that when I show you guys outside the windows, you can actually see. Anyway, I am in our filming room and our filming slash Schleich room and I just want to show you guys how it's looking so far. So we have the trundle bed there. You guys might have seen it before in Gabby's room. Um, basically this part underneath here pulls out and it'll be two beds. We also have this huge table that Sam bought for crafting, for Schleich, for whatever video we want to make. We have a really awesome microphone he hasn't hooked up yet. We have um, a lighting kit that we're kind of playing around with. We have lots of stuff that we're going to do to make this room fun. You guys are all watching Gabby in the background, aren't you? Not even paying attention to me. Gabby and Ruby. Gabby and Ruby, that's what it's all about. Okay. Wait, and Sophie, just sit. sitting there enjoying the show. Sit. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, sit, 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 Ruby, sit. <laughs> New challenge. Oh, she did it. <laughs> That's so funny. She's so funny. And then there's Cookie in the background. Cookie. Cookie's like, help, there's a big hand coming toward me. <laughs> Ruby, guys. Guys. Ruby. Wow, My look at you, English. riding her little horse. Playing with her little ball. <laughs> anyway, if you can't guess, we are headed to the barn today because we are riding our horse, exercising her a five times a week. A lot of you guys are saying we should lunch her and we're not awesomely no, experienced at lunching yet. Um, and our vet recommended that we she ride will her. Gallop if you lunch her. Yeah, like and we she's she gets crazy on the lunge line a little, so we have tried lunging her in the past. A and lot. Yeah, and we don't want her galloping or cantering or anything crazy. And she I know yells. that she's not supposed to do that stuff on the lunch line, which is why we does. only lunch her with an experienced um, instructor with us, which is why we hardly ever uh, lunch her. Anyway, we are getting ready for our day. It's 10.20, and we've been up for a while, but we've just been fooling around. I am trying to get us on school schedule, because a week from tomorrow, we will be uh, back at school. But speaking of school, I want to share with some of you guys um, the things that we'll be doing in school. If you're not interested in homeschool stuff, fast forward because this is where I'm going to be talking about homeschool stuff. What do you think about homeschool stuff? Squishy. Yeah, she wants to do this, right? No, I want to just feel the squishy. She just wants to play with it. She doesn't want to learn yes. about it. So in here, this is our morning basket. This is what we do together first thing in the morning. Sometimes the girls will be eating breakfast and we'll start it. Um, basically, we have our, um, from now until Thanksgiving, we'll be doing our Bible stories. I have another Bible book that we um, will read from. So these are things that we study. Um, we'll be read from, reading from that. We'll be studying Shakespeare and I have this illustrated stories from Shakespeare that is amazing. Um, we will also be learning about maps. Maps is uh, our our geography series this this term. Um, so I have uh, lots of map books in here. We're also studying the human body, and I have a ton of body books. And health will be in there as well. I have that. Um, the book that we'll be doing the read aloud this semester is Willa of the Wood. Let me know in the comments below if, you, below if you read that book. I brought you the desk fan. Sometimes we uh, do flashcards at morning meeting and the girls are still memorizing these, specifically Sophia. And um, we still work on time and money. It's just a skill that we do every single year at the beginning of the year. But yeah, this is our morning meeting basket. 
and we don't do all of those things every single morning we have like a loop rotation it's really cool I'll show you when I have it all written up but basically we do reading writing and math every single day and then the, all the other subjects, um, we loop together. So like I draw a loop. So one day we do geography, one day we do art, one day we do um, health or science or whatever. So, um, and then it just goes around in a loop and a loop and a loop so that all of those co uh, topics get covered um, throughout the week. It's kind of interesting. I'll show you um, when I have my loop schedule done. Oh, our homeschool has its first horse. Yeah. Actually, this is our first horse and nobody noticed. Oh, I noticed. You noticed? I know where we got. Um, we have a friend from Mon uh, Mongolia. Somebody has been chatting with me from Mongolia. Isn't that amazing? We are over here. No, no. We are not in the USA though. We're in Canada. Yeah. We're, not. Yeah. Well, that's where we are. And she's visiting her grandparents all the way over here. Isn't that crazy? I want to go to Mong. Mongolia. I bought you the first. You brought me the dustpan? Thanks. Yeah, I bought you the first dustpan. The furry dustpan? The first dustpan. Um, also over here, this is our second semester stuff. Um, after Thanksgiving or even after Christmas, we'll be doing a bunch of science, we'll be doing a bunch of art, we'll be doing um, our morning basket will have drawing horses in it, a bunch of art stuff. Um, and we're doing chemistry in the next semester. Uh, lots of stuff over here. These will be all of our books. The second semester, I don't have our, our book that we're gonna read together, read aloud yet. And the girls also do free reading. They have books, tons and tons of books. They mostly choose to read on their own. And they do that at the end of our homeschool day every day. Basically, this whole entire bookshelf is filled with all of their library of books that they can choose to read. They have the Cantercrest uh, books, a bunch of those. We have the Stacey Gregg books, a lot of those. Gabby is actually in the middle of a series. Um, some of them are down there. Sophie's got a series on the go. Sophie's books are mostly on the bottom there. But yeah, that's how homeschool is going and it hasn't even started yet. Um, I'll come back to this and show you guys Gabby our fin this can be our our um, mascot our <laughs> our school mascot horse oh we have another horse in our classroom guys she's hypnotized she's hypnotized you know why Cause answer below quick before I before I tell the answer why is Ruby hypnotized and her tongue hanging out it's because the dust she wants the cat. The cat is her best friend. But did you, you guys notice paper. wherever we are, everybody is? Like under the table, I spy three little puppies and a really messy rug. <laughs> and a really messy cat. And the cat and the other dog. Guys, all her do pets you just in one hate room. when you wipe your face and all this hair gets into your mouth? Yeah, that's Not that's all of gross. our pets. Okay, well, most of our pets. Um, also, here's another mascot horse. I put her up here. This is some of you guys pointed out. Sophie got this horse for Christmas before we even knew we were going to get Stella. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's like almost like foreshadowing. It's almost like God was trying to tell us, hey, you're about to get a black and white paint. We also have this horse that somebody painted for us. And I love this picture. It's actually Gabby's for her room. But I keep it in here because I literally love it that much. I even took it to the trailer with us for the summer because I like looking at it. We also have this picture somebody made for us of Sabrina, which is a monument to us, so we keep it in here. What's my horse's top? name? Guess what my horse's name is? What's your horse's name? Horse. Horse. So meet horse, you guys. This is our new horse, not his, horse. I but I will not put that as the title of our video, meet our new horse, horse, even though I said it in the middle of the video because people will think we literally got a new horse. So, yeah. We did not get a new horse. I'm not insinuating we got a new horse. I'm just joking and talking with my kids about the new horse in our classroom that Gabby drew.
jumps from a standstill. <laughs> what? Did you bring your purse? Yeah, I got my purse. When you have air conditioning and you walk outside and it's so hot, but you got a coat on. <laughs> Why do you have your coat on? It was about to rain and mom says, bring your coat. Outfits. Outfits of the day. Gabby got these awesome breeches, or these awesome leggings from Rachel. Aren't they so cool though? And she paired it with her phone, because her phone matches. And her phone is, and she's just paying attention to her no, phone. What are you watching? It's one. What are you watching? Ah, uh, this. Listen, do you know what somebody said yesterday? Slime is dead. It's not dead. It's never gonna be dead, you guys. Not for us. Um. Anyway, yeah. It all looks cute Red until you get to the bottom. <laughs> I. Uh, what shirt are you example. wearing? What? Let's see your shirt. Gabby's wearing a bench shirt. Sophie's wearing a. It's red, but I know it's jacket. gonna be purple. Black shirt underneath that jacket in 100 degree weather. Let's go. It's gonna pour outside. We're gonna get caught at the barn in the rain. It's gonna stop. Our bike. Oh yeah. Where are your bikes? Put your bikes in the trunk. Hurry up. Jump out. Anyway, um, before we leave, I just want to say. Just because somebody says something doesn't make it true. You guys can't know what's right for us in our lives because you're not here living our lives. And yeah, it's true. We share a lot of the stuff that happens with you guys and you still can't know for real what happens because you're not here. Just like I can't tell you what's best for you because I don't I don't live your life everybody has an opinion and lots of times um, hearing other people's opinion can really help you grow and change for the better and sometimes if it's presented in a not nice way um, it can stunt your growth can you hold this? it can make you you guys are all watching Gabby in the background aren't you Anyway, all I wanted to say is that live your life your own way. Learn and grow, but trust in yourself. And don't let what other people say have a negative effect on you. Take the good things from it and leave the bad. That's all you can do. That's all that I do. I just want to encourage you guys that if there's a time when you're feeling a lot of hate or a lot of judgment, just ride past it. Because the only expert on your life is you. And you got this. Girls have gone down to get their horses, and this is what our locker looks like after camp. It's fabulous. So I guess I'm cleaning that one up. Gabby's saddle pads don't look as messy. And her locker is not as messy, but it's still pretty messy. Holy cow. The girls are here. I didn't even know. Uh, I found out. Oh, thank you. I found out that Stella was feeling so good this morning, she was running around in her paddock. Cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Were you feeling so good? Look at, can you guys see her sparkles? She had sparkles on you. Do you like it? I know I should turn it around so everybody can see. This is Stella. Mom, Do you like it? Gabby has it on this part and I don't have it on this part. Okay, change it if you want. You want me to change yeah, it? It'll be better. Okay, let me put these away first. Okay, I switched it. There you go. I put it down in the right spot and now it's sticking out and now everybody will know you're Stella. Wow, she looks different to me today. I She's not losing weight. She's definitely cleaner. She's not losing weight though. Oh, I rode her without the girth extender. You rode her without the girth extender? Yeah, but I... Yeah, I had to help her. I mean, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but I, I don't I think... Her How long have we had her? A month? I can't remember when we got to Dallas. So uh, the heat is supposed to be getting super bad here. Tomorrow's supposed to be 90 degrees at 8 a.m. We're supposed to have our lesson tomorrow, but we're not now because it's, it's not good for the horses because of the humidity. Humidity gets really crazy here. So we're having our lessons later in the week and we won't be able to ride for two days because the weather is just going to be terrible. It's supposed to be wet, really bad weather on the weekend too. Did I mention to you guys that the horses finally got their feet done? It felt like forever because their feet grew really long this summer, really fast, faster than normal. Oh, and Stella got hers done. What? You think she's so clean? Yeah, you think she's so clean. <laughs> when she's actually clean. And she's really not. Gabby's on a mission today. She literally came in, tacked up her horse, and then took off. 
took off into the arena. It's already up and ready. The arena is empty of jumps, which is really nice because the girls have been able to work on flat stuff. Gabby has been absolutely in love with what the work she's been doing with Storm. She's so impressed that he took to uh, neck reining so well yesterday. We were both actually shocked that he did so, so well. And I think it really helped with her confidence level too. Definitely shows how much he loves her. He is such a different horse. Like, one thing I've learned is that when you get a new horse, I mean, it's hard for the new owner to get used to, to him. It's a huge transition, but it's like a big transition, getting used to a new horse and learning each other. It takes a long time. You can like, just move it to the corner. So Gabby has had Storm for four months. Four months. Like, it's only been four months. And expecting a relationship to blossom and change and grow and less than four months i think it's just crazy but i didn't know before like and we're like <laughs> i'm being backed into the corner run over by a horse <laughs> he needs to smell the other horse's poop i mean that's an important thing like come on <laughs> and yeah and we've only had Stella for one month and it's just gonna take time he is so into um, she loved how she looked yesterday on Stella with bre with tan breeches and a black shirt. So she put it on. She put another black shirt on with tan breeches. Like you need help. This is what happens when you have little hands. You don't want somebody to do it for you, but you want to do it. You just need a little bit of help, huh? <gasps> wow! She looks like a baby on its christening day. No, she looks like a devil. <laughs> she does kind of looking like a devil. We had a red one. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute. All right, get bridling her up. Just working, practicing. Model walk. <laughs> These are my model girls. Good boy. We have really good breaks. I never. I. It's funny. We ended up with a boy and a girl horse. Because when we first started out, I had no idea what we would, I had no preference, but now I know that I'm just glad to have the horses that we have, good or bad, they're perfect for us. And I'm really excited for a day where Sophia and Stella are moving along and super bonded, and I know it will happen. It just takes time. You see the smile on her face? She's not that kind of a kid. She's more of a sarcastic, witty kind of girl. That's her personality. But when she rides, she gets a smile on her face that you can't even, she doesn't even know she's doing it. She just gets this big, huge smile. Just wait, I'll see if I can get it again. You're horrible barrel racing. You're barrel racing? You're horrible. I haven't mentioned lately, but my ears are plugged. So it happens every couple of years or so. Like. Uh, they fill up or they swell actually remember my feet were swelling Well, my ears will swell up and there's nothing I can do to fix it I just have to like wait for the swelling to go down and Whoa That was so good like he just is going in a straight line and he's just doing awesome anyway um, Yeah, I just have to wait but right now I'm driving everybody crazy I have to ask what 15 times the girls are out in the, in the arena talking to me uh, I can't hear a word that they're saying so frustrating but I know it'll go away it happened a long time ago a couple of years ago and yeah I just have to wait it's God trying to teach me giving me all the lessons about waiting look at this pretty girl <laughs> she looks like an angel Sophie said she is an angel do you guys want to take them for a little walk outside um, we are going to take her, start taking her soon for more trail rides um, outside once the weather clears and gets a little bit cooler. That's something that we do plan to do because I know that, whoops, I know that um, riding in an arena round and round with nothing to do is kind of boring for them. Even though Storm seems to be rocking it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Selby's riding around with no reins. <laughs> 
And I was like, yeah, I know what to do. Just walk around in circles. So this is one thing that I could do forever. Just come and sit and watch my kids ride their horses. Even if they're just walking, trotting around an empty arena, I could just come and watch them because I know that they're loving it. It's like when they're little and they go to the playground and you sit there and you watch them. That's what this is like for me. She looks so funny with her hat on, with her ear bonnet on. She's not losing weight. I know they're going to make us take give her medication because it's just not coming off. This is Barrel Racing 101. Kids are just playing around, you guys, having fun. Okay, he is so confused and not loving this. You got it, you got it! Just don't go too fast. Okay, now go fast. Go, 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 go. Look at him go. Like, he actually likes Daryl. nice out like it's gorgeous out here I can see the smog a little but it's actually windy and quite nice girls are cooling outside Stella nailed her ear bonnet and she nailed Bear. No, it doesn't fly off. yeah they had such a good little ride their friends came I didn't video it but they did like pretend barrel racing nothing crazy they took it easy my kids are chickens oh look at yeah, her scab. Halfway off, and, then and then you picked it up. off? No, nope, Chloe moved Oh, Chloe's like a girl after my own heart. I can't stand a scab either. I have to always pick it. But she looks like much better. It was so tight and itchy probably before. I always like scratch around it because I know that feeling. And she's like, yes, do it, do it. <laughs> Look at your eyelashes. Good thing I moved my foot because... <laughs> All right, you guys want to go for a little trail ride? I'll walk along with you.